Hey guys, there are three ways to clean a window screen. There's obviously maybe 150 ways to clean a screen, but three main uh, ways that we clean window screens. One is uh, kind of who gives a crap or if the mesh is worn out um, and you don't want to fully deep wash it because you might rip it. Uh, one, you could just brush it off and just get every bit of it and brush it like that. It's really quick. It's not the best way to clean it, but it will get off all the main dust, okay? So the first way is to just simply brush it. So the second way to clean a screen is to brush it <clears throat> and then polish down the inside. And again, there's probably a thousand different ways, but this is the different, the three different ways we train our employees. So using one of these huck towels, not the really fine ones, but kind of the rough ones, they'll stick to your hand and they'll stick to, they'll be able to polish the screen off without rolling up on you, okay? So these are really good towels. Open your hand wide, have it damp, and wipe down the, after you brush it, wipe down the mesh on the inside. This is in case it's a really small bathroom screen or something, and you don't wanna bring it all the way outside. You could just simply wipe down the mesh after you brush it, and it'll get almost everything off. It just takes a little bit longer, but it'll save you time if you're up on a second story interior window that only comes up from the inside or something and you just want to polish it down. Also, sliding glass doors are really good. From the inside, open them up and polish down the interior of them. That's usually a good thing. Uh, after any way you clean the sliding glass screen, it's nice to polish down the inside really quick, okay? The number one way to wash a screen, the fastest, most efficient way to clean a screen is this, okay? I have my bucket on the right here. I have it filled halfway most of the way. And I just put a little bit of Dawn in there, just a little bit to take the dirt off of the mesh, give it a little bit of a shine, but mainly keeping water on there. You don't want to over suds it or you will never get it off of this mesh unless you polish it all the way down. So let's see how fast I can clean this screen thoroughly, okay? Get that brush out of here. I'm gonna have one foot on this side of the bucket, one on this side. Again, I could do up to like 70 of these a day. So uh, you wanna make sure that your posture is correct, okay? So this is in my left hand. I'm going to water load up top. I'm gonna water load it and let the water drip down. Then uh, scrub the whole thing. Flip it, get the frames around the edges, water load the top, and it, it has already been water loaded from the other side. So then I'll scrub the inside as well. Then I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna back pivot, okay? I'm gonna strike the rubber twice, twice here, move back up. I'm gonna grab my rag, get a little dry spot on it, and I'm just gonna flick it off. Okay, a little dry spot. You don't wanna hit it with a wet spot or you will leave streaks on the screen. A little dry spot, flick a little bit. Okay, so let's see how quickly I could do this screen the right way, fully done, okay? Um, after I flick it, I'm gonna get a wet part of the screen and wipe down the frame real quick. This gets it about 95, 99%, okay? In about maybe, I don't know, we'll see how many seconds it takes. Okay, so I get the screen, bring it over to the bucket, water load. Frame wash, get in the cracks, 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 and everywhere in between. One more up and down, step back, one, two, one, two, rag, there's still some beads on there, flick them off real quick with the dry part of the rag, wipe down the frame as I'm gripping the inside of it, here, okay, that's quick, $3, $3 screen in about however many seconds that was, okay, that's the proper way to clean a screen. Let's see it one more time. Go here, water load, and then pull it all down, get those corners straight up. You notice how I went over, I hit the bars here, then I went across and then back up. So here, down, across, and back up, okay? Just that motion there. If you're sitting here going like this on each one of them, you know, like a grunt, you're just gonna wear out. A quick stance, water load, 
around up, down, down and back up. Get the frames. You can see how I'm gentle around the handles. And I go straight down, gentle around the bottom handles. And I'm hitting the frame down here. Now I'm hitting the frame on this side. Now I'm hitting the frame up here. And I go in everywhere in between. Real quick. Then I step back. Don't hit it on anything else. Hit it on this rubber. You can hit it pretty hard. That's gonna that's gonna flick all the Dawn dish soap is gonna grab onto the dirt and flick all the dirt off from the mesh. Okay? You just turn it, two flicks there, and you're good to go. Any other bubbles left? You can see how my Dawn dish soap mixture is actually really good. Um, because when I flicked it off, there was enough Dawn dish soap to clean it, but not too much. There was, there was a little amount to where when, I, when it hit the bucket, it flicked all the Dawn dish soap off. Okay, and you're left with almost no bubbles. I hit it really hard. Did a little bow on the screen because I hit it really hard just to see how hard I could hit it. But I would just give it a good little bounce, okay? You don't want to hit it and push it down, okay? You want to let it drop, okay, with your thumbs. Give it a good push down with gravity and let it bounce itself off of there, okay? This is my screen, so I can like use the crap out of it okay a couple quick bounces like this with your thumbs the right mixture you'll have a very nice screen um, very picky client or something you could always do a quick polish down on the inside if the screens are super dirty but I could fly through many screens the same way I did it nobody ever complains okay that's it so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. My number one goal is to help uh, window cleaners earn more per hour with small little tricks of the trade. Okay, thanks.